What's up guys? Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing a book review, so let's get really hyped for that. Oh and um, yeah, like let's, let's get right into the video. Okay, and guys, so the truth is I actually recorded two intros for this video. You already saw the first one and if you're seeing this one there's like only a probably like a 1% chance that you're possibly seeing this one because this intro here is only if for something really crazy happens and the whole video is really not about the book review at all it's actually about something else but I thought I'd record this just in case so that I don't have to go back record another intro. Um yeah so basically you should expect something super crazy to happen during this video, like a, a mad twist to this. I have no idea what it is because I'm actually recording this before I recorded the book review. Crazy. Oh, and actually, anyway, like, let's get right into that, right into that video. What's up, guys? I have just cut the video, and now I'm here ready to do the book review, and nothing crazy has happened yet, which is like a pretty weird thing for me to say because most probably there's like a 99% chance you won't even understand that reference because you only saw the first intro and not the second intro but I guess if you did see the second intro you guys know something which I don't so that's kind of crazy so I'm pretty much lying down here and I've got um, three of my cows with me as you can probably see I actually have six cows um, if not more cows than six but I can think of three others but two of them are like really big and probably wouldn't fit in frame my camera has to be really high in the air to have like all of this in frame so because the lens is really like long also the other cow just it doesn't really fit with the same aesthetic of these three cows that I've got here with me so this will have to do for today you also got to see the cow picture on the wall at the beginning so pretty much pretty much you've already seen a lot of them so that'll be fine also as you can see I've got my um blue bicycle rider back playing cards I put these underneath my head so I would know where to lie so that my head would be fully in frame. Hopefully that worked out and my head is completely in frame for you guys and you'll be able to enjoy this book review. Okay, what's up guys? I'm back and this time I have the book for the book review. The book, as you can see, if it's probably a bit out of focus. Like, you know how like that's out of focus, but this is more in focus. Unless maybe I changed the focus last time I cut, in which case I'm not in focus, but like maybe this is in focus. Regardless, so the book, as you can see, it's Troy by Stephen Fry. Like, you might be able to see that I have to hold the book like this with like my thumb inside it and my hands on the outside and that sort of like opposable thumb utilizing grip because I haven't really read all of the book yet. As you can see, I've, I've read, you can probably read that from that distance. I've read to page um, 108. Maybe if the video is only just uploaded on YouTube, it's kind of blurry because like it's still doing some post-processing and stuff, but like they get it up before it's at full resolution. So if you guys can't read that, basically it says that I'm on page 108 so far. The title of the chapter is, uh, I can't read the first word, but then it's go to colon and N interlude. So yeah, you can imagine that this is really a good book. And even though I've only read to page 108, I already got really the gist of it. So I, I think I'm pretty prepared for this book review type type ordeal that we're having today. My first criticism of the book, and like criticism as you guys probably know, it can be like good or bad, not just bad if, if you guys didn't realize that. Um, basically it has all the Greek mythology in it that you could want. So I don't know if you guys have ever read Percy Jackson, etc. But um, this book is like Percy Jackson, except it's like you have two copies of two different Percy Jackson books. Like let's say Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief in one hand, and Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters in the other hand. And you were using your two different eyes to read them, both at the same time, but cross-eyed. That's how much Greek mythology you're gonna find in um, in this book. Yeah, it's pretty good in that, in that sense. The next um, criticism number two that we're gonna bring up, and this is actually like a bad criticism, like you probably might have thought on the first time. So let me try to find an example of this actually. The video is getting a bit long already, so I'm, I'm not gonna try to find a. I'm gonna try and find an example straight away. But like, so basically, it's trying to say uh, Hercules. You might have heard of the Greek hero Hercules. It tries to put that in lots of places, and there's like all these typos where it says Her Heracles instead. And I think that's like pretty embarrassing for whoever this guy is. But like, maybe it's his first book. Maybe it's his first time doing any formal piece of writing. I mean, like, oh, oh it has about the author here. I think. Uh, 
it, yeah, it says he's a comedian. So, um, yeah, I can understand. I can understand why he might be making typos throughout this book, this Stephen Fry person. So, criticism number three of this book would be, like, basically a lot of the pages have a lot of footnotes. Uh, like I, f I just, I just flicked through the book, and I don't want to spoil it for myself because, you know, I might keep reading this. I might, I might try to read page 152, but so I'm not gonna read any of the words. But I can just see straight away that on this page, the half, over half the page is footnotes. That, that is a big problem for me. There's a lot of footnotes in this book. In fact, on page 152, there's actually only one footnote, and it's actually carrying over the same, carrying over the same footnote from page 151. And it goes for like over half of the page 152. And the footnote font size is smaller. It's actually smaller than the normal text size. So over half the page really means mo mo much more than over half the writing because of, the, uh, because of that font size issue. But most of the time it's not those really big footnotes. It's like there's like five different footnotes. And they're not even numbered, you know. They're not even numbered. They, he, just, he just held alt and he used the special characters to make this. I mean like... I could understand like on a, maybe a school assignment for history I might be putting that many footnotes on a page but like that's because I have to I have to reference it like that yeah, Stephen Fry apparently he's only doing this for fun because he's like a comedian as I said before a bit of a bit of a fun loving guy and um so he's just putting he's just putting footnotes all over this just for fun so that's that's a pretty pretty weird thing so um I was just thinking about um, before I move on to criticism number four I this time. Like the probability that you guys saw the second intro, and you guys won't even know what I'm talking about, right? But because you probably didn't see it, but the probability you guys saw the second intro is just it's just lowered over time. Like how crazy is that? Like it's just like it's basically non-existent. I probably wasted all my time just recording that intro for no reason. Criticism number four. Yeah, I thought of. Yeah, so basically, like sometimes it introduces all these names and stuff, but like it's not. There's so many names in this. So many names. You you guys probably heard of Theseus and Perseus and um Percy Jackson and stuff like that, who are the common Greek heroes, but uh and like Annabeth of course. But in this book in this book there's so many more people that you really didn't even know about before. And like you're not meant to use flashcards or anything, like the author literally puts it in the footnotes, he's like, Oh you guys probably don't remember that. He's like he's just like asserting the fact that the, he put too many names. He is actually self-aware. So I guess that's what happens when it's like their first book and they're just a comedian, but yeah. Before I do criticisms 5 through 10, I'm gonna put the book down for a little bit and um, I'm gonna go and get a glass of milk. So um, I'll be back. Just I'll cut, the, I'll cut the camera first, of course. Okay, what's up guys? I'm back from getting my milk and uh, you might not be able to see me in frame right now. That's because I'm actually behind the camera because I need to show you guys something. Uh, you can see where I was before is here. Like there's those three cows. Um, yeah, I got my gloss of milk. As you can see, I'm going to put it in frame a little bit. Better focus on that. Uh, it's not really focusing. It's a little close to the camera. I, I don't know. Anyway, you guys can probably see even though it's not really in focus. Uh, I got barely any milk. There was barely any left in the bottle, so um, I'll have to make do. I guess that really sums things up, like what they're having right now. But something really, I, I should have probably addressed this first, but something extremely crazy has happened. So basically, if you look, um, oh, okay, yep, there we go, guys. I got it. So um, just there, as you can see, pretty crazy. There's like a giant black hole. It's not really giant. It's actually quite small. There's not really anything on frame for context right now, but like, just down there, there's a massive hole. And I don't really know what's up with this. I can't really understand how this just opened up in my bedroom where I'm recording this. I'm actually standing on the bed because the camera is really high because as I talked about before, you know, the massive lens and how it has to be really high above the ground. So I'm actually standing on the bed to like talk to the camera and look through the, look through the preview sort of thing. Well, um, let's have a look if I come down here. Looks like I can sort of... Um, basically I just put my milk inside of the hole and as you can see it is completely gone. Like I, I don't even know what to make of that.
What's up? I know I already sort of did an outro, but I just wanted to say because I just thought about this and it's kind of cool. Like, since something so crazy happened during my book review, pretty much, uh, like, you guys probably saw the second intro. So I thought there should be a second outro. Like, it kind of it kind of compliments. Basically, subscribe for free oxygen, guys. And good night.